Well, mate, obviously here we are back in All for Adventure uh, compound HQ. again, yeah. looking at videos. Yes, and we are. I believe we've got some of your uh, top recovery here to have a look at. There's no doubt about it. We're going way back into the archives. And, uh, mate, I'll tell you what, what you do is make sure you like and comment and tell us which one was your favourite out of the top five. Go for it. All right, so first one, Lorella Springs, and we call it Wadey's, because you remember, Wadey was there. We learned a lot from that bog. Hell yeah. That was the way back too. Listen to the advice you get from the landowner. Mm. Check this out, guys. It's, uh, yeah, it's a learning curve. Stay on the track. <laughs> Wadey pushes hard with the trailer. Oh, no! You had it! Oh! Did that even move? Nah, I gotta dig it. Somehow, I don't think snatching will do the job. With nothing working, we were giving our nerves and the four-wheel driver flogging. Something was gonna give. No, nah, it's just it's loading up, mate. It's got a lot of load on it, eh? And it was the car. Final drive your wheel, I reckon. Put it in reverse and see if it spins backwards. Now you've done a final drive in this side. Things were just going from bad to worse. We were down to two-wheel drive now. Come back again? If we didn't rescue the four-wheel drive now and get it back to the homestead, Keep it was going, going to take working. a month for the track to dry out. Just, yeah, just, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just don't touch it, mate. We'll get the max tracks in because if we start spinning, it's going to drop down again, all right? And we'll just load this winch up and move it this way. We've got to get back on this hard ground, eh? Here we go. This will be it. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. So we're going to have to lay the max tracks down, turn these vehicles around and get back out of this hole and reassess the situation. Tail between our legs, mate. At the moment it is. I, I honestly, we learnt so much from that, just that recovery alone. Yeah, yeah it was 10 years ago, it was like it was yesterday. And, and, and the, the, the stuff that you don't really see is what I, at the time, we'd gone out into the field and then that's as far as we got. Mm. And then we're sitting there going, hey, we barely scratched the surface on this track. We've got to get all the way out here. And we're thinking, is this track going to be like the track from hell? So we actually went back and grabbed Rhett and his sons and went, uh, we need some help. Uh, I, think, I think we better take him along with us because he does know the land. He knows the country really well, because we didn't. We also learned that um, vehicles there is a limit to four-wheel drives and, and the ability to get them out of this, this boggy country. This next recovery, mate, all right, this next recovery coming up. Now, again, it's the same sort of scenario. It was we... weight on soft ground again. Yes. And, and, which we did learn at Lorella, you drive across the country once and it does that thing. Yes. Wobbles and then up comes the water. Same on the salt yeah, the pan. Hanging, yeah, same on the salt pan because there is an underlying yep. moisture and yep. tide can make the difference Absolutely. there as well. Absolutely. So on this one here, this one in particular was on Silver Plains. It was a massive big salt pan. We were trying to get from one section to another because we were a long way from the coast. Oh, well, it's still a long way. Exactly. And I went across, no problem. I hit the berries and got across, right? But then you come in behind. Did and you follow my tracks? I went off just a little yes. bit because I could see that where you'd gone like that, but yeah. I was, still wasn't far enough and I would just broke through. Yeah, so yeah. Simon breaks through. And what I we'll think, do? I think I had the weight that time too. I think I had the bigger trailer. You on might have had some more weight. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think you did. Trailer, anyway, right. check it out. Now. Oh. 
I made it. Made it. It's just a greasy top. Made it, mate. It's just a greasy top. <laughs> Holy hell, it's soft here. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Jace, Jace, come back, come back. I am bogged. What's happened? No. I just got bogged to the eyeballs. You need to get rid of that trailer. I don't dare bring it back in here, eh? Right? There's no bottom to this stuff. Oh, now I'm bogged. Two vehicles bogged on the salt pan. Go, go, hit it, hit that shit. We are out. Hoorah. We're out, one vehicle out. Now we just snatch Simon out and then we got a trailer. Another one in, one more. One more will make it. Give it a pop. Are you ready to go, mate? There you are, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Who see that? Yeah! Um. Unbelievable stuff. Mate, I don't know what happened, but when I was driving, I didn't feel nothing. Absolutely felt nothing. I thought I was, you weren't even attached. Well, you'd hit it, and yeah. you were nearly to the, to the to yeah. taking up the slack on the strap. Yeah. I thought, so I hit it, I hit it, and I'm spinning. Yeah. And then next minute, everything launched off the dash, and it wasn't sudden, the whole truck just went. That was a good recovery, mate. We had to use our brains, our noggins, and all of our rope, and take trailers off and well, that was, we pulled out I, all the stops to get out of that I, one. I think that was, that was the first time that we'd learned, well, we discovered the power of joining multiple snatch straps together. Yeah. It gave us more kinetic energy over that length. Mm. And I actually hardly felt like there was any nah. sort of jolt at all. Yeah. So there you go, that was, we learned a lot from that recovery. Now guys, um, so definitely we, we learn a lot from each time we do get stuck, right? Probably not as much as we should. Well, how about this one here now? This is my next, okay? This is my next recovery here. Now this, now it involves the same sort of country. It seems, we seem to get stuck on the same sort of country. <laughs> but we did learn, we tried to build a truck that would handle that softer country well, that's with, the with thing. big tyres. Yeah, so we go to the next level and go, right, well, we got these trucks to get bogged. Why don't we take a vehicle that is built for this terrain? What could go wrong with that? <laughs> Yeah, what could go wrong with uh, getting the biggest tyres you can find? Let's have a look what did go wrong. <laughs> Check it out first. It just popped. The first attempt at rigging a tow cable has failed. Jace isn't happy. Yeah, that, that strap lasts about three seconds. Three seconds, that thing ain't worth it. Not even worth having it. All right, let's try and get some drive. Turn them. Turn your wheels. We don't want to roll that bead. That's it. That's it, that's it. Back around, this way, Simon. The truck is coming out. That's it, she's doing it. But the winch is starting to get stressed. They can't keep this up much longer. And then... That's it. The winch stops working. What? We decided to use everything we had. So we grabbed the quad bike and now we've hooked up the quad bike and, and we've got tracks underneath, and this is it. This is our last ditch attempt. This is it. It's, it's get it out or fail. With 
one final combined effort, they're free. Yes! Thank God for that. <laughs> Jesus. That was messed up. Messed up like you wouldn't believe. I honestly thought that we were never going to get it. I honestly yeah, thought we were swamp, parked. The swampy there. was done, mate. Yeah, we're, that's where we're going <laughs> to leave it. And over, over the years, we go back and revisit it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and it get rusty. And oh, look, seriously, and those tyres, even they, so we've learned, we learned a lesson from that again. Like the fact that the volume of the tyre below the surface. You're in trouble. Yes, because you've got to get that volume of tyre out of what you're in. Mm. Anyway, that was very cool. <laughs> All right, so this next one, so let's get on to the next one. Um, all right, so this one here, now you're gonna remember this one because this involves you a lot. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now this was out on the uh, mud flats. Well, let's call them salt pans again. And this was at Bathurst Head. Do you remember the track out to Bathurst? Oh, it was, hell yeah, Bathurst is a great spot though. It's a great spot, but great it's a hell spot. of a track. Hell of a track to get out there. Yeah, yeah. and again, there was a lot of moisture in, on the track. There's didn't, a lot going didn't on. Didn't we give our vehicles a punishment on that track? I know. We limped out of there. I know. <laughs> it was fun coming in. It seems to be just as much fun coming out. No. Stop, stop, stop. That went well. Now a tree drops. What else can go wrong? You right? You right? Yeah. Ten minutes after that, it goes from a bad day to monumental. Here for a tail shaft, I'm thinking here. About as bad as it gets. I'm flannery. That's the diff, isn't it? Yep. Scratching on the ring gear. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. So there was that. So he's done a diff right, which means straight away, diff done, which means it's slipped a couple of teeth. And right, we're now, you got to, you press the button, you dis we take the tail shaft off, we press the button. Yeah, means, we got front, yeah, we got front, yeah, front, front, wheel, front wheel drive only, that's and right. We've got to get out of the worst of the track. Yeah. So we'll leave Simon's trailer behind. He's through this one now and onto the big one. Now, my truck will have to cross the bog section twice to get both trailers across. Plus, we need to be there to tow Simon's truck if he bogs down. We aren't holding much hope for Simon's truck on this one. Keep breathing going on. But we'll get it as far as possible. Bullshit! Absolute bullshit! Holy crap, mate, I can't believe you just made that. I can't either. Unbelievable. Mate, well done. Well done. Awesome driving. Thanks, mate. I'm coming through. Now for the first trailer. And by the time we got out of that, like it was literally, so we had to get rid of, you know, Simon's trailer and all that sort of stuff. And we, and we were hitting that. We had Max Tracks bridges built. By then it was late at night and we were covered in crap. And we literally, we camped beside that swamp. Oh, mosquitoes. Oh, they were atrocious. Yes! Yeah! Did not want to be stuck in there tonight. And remember, that track, it is, you. You're perfectly legal to be there the whole time, which means, would you believe, that whole time we are fully insured. That's it. Okay? So we had insurance. Yeah, the mozzies, mate. I was over the mozzies. But don't forget about the mozzies. <laughs> well, whilst we're on talking about, you know, breaking diffs yeah. and cars and stuff, what about that time where we both did diffs and tails? Oh, and so, yes, yes. Wow. I remember that track. And we were, like I said, you, the, the track's closed, you're not allowed on it. The track's open, 
you, you're allowed to be on it. But even when it is open, it's still at your own peril. It's pretty hardcore, that track. Oh, it's a hardcore track because, again, we stick some trailers on the back with lots of weight on them and we got to get through. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. By the time they're ready to continue up the next hill, night has fallen and they're exhausted. Jace goes first. But when he gets to the top, there's no news from Simon. Jace, you got a copy? Yeah, mate, what's happened? Oh, I've just done a tail shaft, I reckon, mate, or something. We're in heaps of trouble, we're in the shit, big time. In the shit. I knew that was too much load to be putting on this truck. I knew it, I knew it. All right, mate, just hold where you are. Are you well, you're uh, halfway up that incline? Yep, yep, we're in trouble. This whole way, I'm coming down. It didn't want to drive before, it was just going bang, bang, bang. But now, I click it into drive and it wants to drive, but I'm not going to put any weight on it. So nothing's broken underneath, but... Can't see anything, but something's broken. I think the goal now is just to get Simon's truck up out of that, up at the top of that hill, and then um, have a bit of a survey of what's going on. All right, you take a bit of weight. Something isn't right. Let me just try something else. Hang on a sec. Wanna take a little bit of load? No. Nah. No dice. Simon's drivetrain is totally bound up and he's unable to drive at all. It's, it's in the, it's the diff. It's gotta be the diff. It's gotta be the diff. It's a diff or an axle, one of the two in the back. We, we, we gotta winch out. That's yeah. what we gotta do. We gotta winch out. So we gotta get my truck up on the front there, hooked onto something and then we've got to winch everything out. Yeah. I've got to get my winch up to something secure up there. Simon's winch is hooked onto the back of mine. My rear winch is hooked onto the front of him. This is going to be a real big setback. We're going to have to take an alternate route and try and get this truck back to Cairns at least. Jace is now able to pull Simon's truck up to the plateau. After more than an hour of stress, they find themselves on safe ground. We're up that hill. I'm just going to pop this truck out of low four into high four. And take the centre diff lock out. And see what happens. So you're out of gear. So you're out of four wheel drive now. I'm out of four wheel drive. Put it into drive. We're in drive? Yeah. Drive forward. Jesus. That's the rear diff. That's the rear diff. That was coming out of the rear diff. And that's where we stopped on the side of the road. And, yeah. then, and we realised that, hey. Let's worry about it tomorrow. Yeah, worry about yeah. it tomorrow. So what we worked out was that you could whip the drive shaft off, okay, or the rear tail shaft, and Push the lock press button. the button. Yep. But the only problem with that is you only, you've only got front wheel drive and we've got the biggest, basically the biggest and longest hill in front of us before we're out. Yeah. So we, we start we start work on it the next morning and away we go. It right? was working good too. It was. It was working great. I had four wheel drive, you had front wheel drive. Everything seems to be working as they approach the hill. This track would be a tough challenge for any truck, but dragging another vehicle and a two and a half ton trailer is pushing Jace's close to the limit. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. And then Jace discovers exactly what that limit is. Come on. You didn't just break something, did you? My tar shaft is on the ground. Oh, no! Their challenging ordeal has just turned into a total disaster. Jace is halfway up the hill and going nowhere. And Simon's trailer will drag everything back down the hill without a foot planted firmly on the brake pedal. You all right? Yeah, my truck won't stay here because I've got nobody and drive shaft to the rear wheels. Oh, shit. I can't even get out of my truck. <laughs> This is all bad. Oh, no kidding. 
and the stress is beginning to show. I'm just, I'm just blowing the uni joint on this tail shaft now. Yours went bang good. Oh, it went bang big time. <laughs> big bang good. Bang bad. Yeah, well, I did the diff, you did the tail shaft. Well, I don't, I destroyed the yoke. Yeah. Yeah, and you've done the diff. So, yeah. so we, we're like in this situation, and of course it's like now it's suddenly this multi, multi winch layer, layer winching all the way to the top. Mate, they're all epic recoveries, but which one do you think was the most epic? Well, I'll tell you what, instead of us deciding, why don't you guys decide? So whack in the comments below, one, three to five, whichever one, and uh, we'll pick a random, and we'll give you a Camp Boss prize, uh, prize pack. pack. Yeah, Perfect. why not? All right, guys, so that was it from us. That's my top five recoveries, all right? So next time, how about we ask Simon for his top five? No, let's not do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. No. <laughs> I reckon it'd be epic.